All right, so let's figure out where we're going. I kind of wanted to go to the caves to get more on the fuel thing because we really haven't done much with that. Although, that's right, food stores, we basically, we, we haven't even supplied the ship yet. And I like Leslie, so we'll do that first. Let's make sure I have my phone handy as a clue pad. Also, I forgot to put the game on the screen, but again, we did the birthday thing last time, so I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> I can just trim that off. Apologies for confusing y'all. According to her records, Miss Baradwaj stated that the research dome was one of her favorite places. It's also one of the colony's most important facilities. The research here allowed major advances in food processing efficiencies. Hopefully you can find some research that will help us extend our, your food supply for the journey back to Earth. Oh, I guess that's just the outer rim thing of the dome there. Oh, some hide behind there. The decontamination chamber seems to be working. That's a good sign. Should be finished momentarily. Love to get the cat decontaminated. Now there's a rare site here on Epsilon Eridani B. The outer dome, this outer dome was used for testing research species. It was originally a much more structured lab-like environment, but over the years, Ms. Baradwaj transformed it into this garden. If I recall correctly, she and I debated the merits of such an environment. She stated that having the garden wasn't just about science, it was about something more human. I regret that I did not fully understand at the time. Always be looking for stuff to scan. I'm genuinely surprised they didn't hide anything out here. I'm reading a high concentration of foreign air particles from the lab on the west side of that research dome. I think you should check that out first. It's a portable analyzer of some kind. I'm not sure what of what what use it would be right now. So please keep looking around. tube was breached and the plant inside has mutated somewhat. Toxins from the tube environment must have escaped into this room. These notes contain specifics on Ms. Ha Ms. Hainsworth re Ms. Hainsworth's research. Indicates she was combining trace amounts of the toxin with other elements. According to this, she was trying to run more experiments at once than Ms. Baradwash approved of or approved to in an attempt to save time. Tests were progressing faster than expected, she wrote. Ms. Hainsworth focused on Bryophyte plants. I isolate those first. Do you know what a bryophyte is? Uh, I forgot, honestly. <laughs> yes, of course. Think of a plant that doesn't produce flowers or seeds, or have internal veins. Moss, for example. Okay. The team must have been trying to isolate which plants were most susceptible to carrying the toxin to understand how it traveled. Ms. Hainsworth was focused on bryophytes, specifically mosses, but her research is incomplete. If we can get a couple of samples, perhaps we can finish it. Look around the dome, see if you can find some equipment that looks like a bulky laptop, a portable analyzer. I have an idea. My scan indicates this is the corpse of Chief Genetics Research Ashley Hainsworth. The skeletal remains are consistent with the osteoporosis she suffered. It appears Ms. Hainsworth used exobraces to regain some mobility as her legs were severely affected. The braces remain on the skeleton. Ms. Hainsworth was manually writing notes on her research here. They read, I found the courage confronted Baradwaj about her inability to lead with direction. We had a pretty heated argument. I'll be honest, I didn't think the chief had it in her. She clung to the hopeless belief that the team would see things through. I thought she would never give up. But after a while, she came back and told me she thought I might be right. To think of it, after all this time. But she made me agree not to tell the rest of the team her, of her acquiescence. To not disrupt her precious ecosystem. So I've got them using the portable analyzer to test, out newly or test our newly grown samples. Notes in there, but she's confirmed what I thought. Perhaps we should look for the portable analyzer she mentions. 
That terminal still has some local data that didn't get a properly synced with the Colony Network. Looks like Ms. Haysworth and Mr. Yeager continued their private conversation regarding Ms. Varadwaj's leadership cap capabilities. I can't talk. I did burn my tongue slightly on dinner. That could be part of it. Um, so you headed out with her? With, with So I headed out with her, with, with Varadwaj. You did? What happened? It quite a row. I was surprised, actually. But in the end, she agreed with me. I don't know if she wanted to, you know? That irritating sense of duty she has. Holy, I can't believe you did it. So that's it then? We're going to proceed with your research plan? Looks like. We'll show her, Arlo. No more pussy booty around. We'll get this done fast. Better than with her restrictive rules. I just hope we're making the right decision here. Things have been so crazy lately. I hope we can come back from this. Yeah, I don't know if that panned out. Um. Tubes are filled with various uh, plants and chemical test environments. It was faster to do multiple tests at once to improve production. I mean, that's not... As long as you can keep on top of them, it's usually not the worst idea. There you go, that analyzer already has data on it from Ms. Hainsworth's experiments, but we can use it to continue our work. If we can figure out how the toxin works more specifically, maybe I can protect your food supply for the journey home. Take the analyzer out to the garden. Hopefully we can find a way to hook it up and find some specimens. Alright. Analyzer go. Double checking. So they're gonna force me to go to the garden. When it gets linear, I get a little annoyed, but that's fine. So there is stuff to do out here. We gotta find something to hook it up to, though. Okay, the analyzer is connected online. What we need to do is find samples from Ms. Hainsworth's field of research. Let's start by finding some samples of bryophytes. Remember, the plants without vascular systems, mosses for the most part. There must be samples in the garden. Find it to get three of them. That should give us enough data for the analyzer. You found a healthy patch of polytrichum juniperia ju juperna juper, juniperinum whatever juniper boss uh this is indeed a bryophyte we can use it to test this sample is small but there's alicomium alicomium palestra here this red bog moss will suit our bryophyte test Alright, I don't know why that tabbed out, but I'd like to tab it back in, please. Thank you. You've scanned some sphagnum central, all, 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 otherwise it would come with peat moss. Good work, this is a bright fight we can use to test. Well, that makes three samples, use the portable analyzer to process them. Let's moss. Good. I've got the data from these bryophyte plants now. I'll be able to run small simu or I'll be able to run simulations and tests back here. I think we're onto something. Head to the north lab inside the dome and see what was being worked on there. That terminal's local storage has been severely damaged, but I can it can still read external media such as data cards. Oh, hunter. These notes were by Dale Zorikowski, one of the rem other geneticists. It appears he was working under Mrs. Ms. Hainsworth's direction. Terrified strains 1 through 4, no conclusive results, it says. There's a chart that indicates more tests were intended. So Mr. Zorikowski was focused on terrified plants from the domes. Do you remember what a terrified is? Not really. Unlike a bryophyte, a terrified plant does have a vascular system, but no flowers. It uses spores to reproduce. Good examples are ferns, that were some kind, sometimes called horsetails. Important elements to Earth-like ecosystems. We need to complete Z Mr. Zorikowski's research so we can be sure of our food, si be sure our food systems are safe. Let's deal with these terrified plants. 
The analyzer is already hooked up, so let's return to the garden and find some specimens. The ruined lab coat contains trace element of dust and debris from the surrounding wreckage. I can also see some DNA around one of the cuffs. The coat belonged to geneticist Dale Zerikowski. There are small food wrappers in the pocket, as well as a small, worn, folded-up photograph. The photo depicts the dome staff looking tired after what was probably a long day. In it are Leslie Bardwaj, Ashley Hainsworth, Florent Marchand, Mr. Zerikowski, and Matsuko Bradley. In the photo, Mr. Zerikowski appears to be looking at Ms. Bradley, one of the other geneticists on the team. Why do you think he's doing this? Well, not. you really think so? This photo might have captured what was intended to be a private moment of longing. Very interesting. Like, yeah. One thing Benjamin Briggs is really good at is making games where, like, your decisions impact the ending. With choices like that. Like, that's all of home, basically. But I feel like it also doesn't make sense. That, like, why would you keep a photo of someone you were jealous of? So. That's my logic. I'm not just trying to ship everybody. Although the game seems to be doing a good job of that anyway, because... Like, pretty much everyone... Um... A little butt, butt crack there. Um... Yeah, like, there, there's already been so many relationships with people who have, like... Just hooked up because... Or tried to hook up because they were all stuck on this planet together, but... You've scanned some equip... Equisetum Arvents, also known as Field Horsetail. Good work. This is a Torito fight we can use to test. You found a healthy patch of Asplenium Scolopendrium, a Cristata fern. This is indeed a Torito fight we can use to test. Alright, I guess that's wheat or corn. We're just going to learn about plant types today. Fun times. Good choice. This tree fern or Subodium Kaminji guy? I don't know. We'll make a good GI? Whatever. We'll make a good specimen. The skin will help us in our test. That's three. That should be good enough. Use the portal analyzer to process the samples. I processed and received the data from the Terrido fight plants you scanned. Hopefully this will help with our food supply issues. There's only one area left. Head to the East Lab and let's complete our mission. There are extensive notes, quite neatly organized, on another type of plant. These appear to be Ms. by Ms. Matsuko Bradley, another geneticist at the Dome. With, like with the previous research, there is no real recorded su success. Ms. Bradley wrote, despite large angiosperm po sample population, had not yet isolated toxin. Ms. Bradley was tasked with testing angiosperm species of plants. Are you familiar with angiosperms? I think so. Well, just to be sure, an angiosperm is a flowering plant. It has a vascular system and can produce flowers as a means of reproduction. That I remember from 7th grade biology. <laughs> Kinda. If she was looking at angiosperms, they were likely samples such as trees, crops, and deciduous plants in the garden. Let's try the portal analyzer one more time. We can configure it for angiosperms and find some specimens to scan. The terminal is damaged too heavily and can't be used. Oh, that's a standard 2D da data card. That makes sense. Often, re often researchers made manual backups as well as allowing me to store things on the network. There have been so many disruptions since this all started. Uh, so much useful data has been rendered useless or inaccessible, especially since I lost contact with Colony B. If you find a terminal that still has a functioning card port, uh, you might be able to read it. Yoink. Right, this seems to be pretty much it. So let's go read the data card. This is, I think the north one had the reader. Yeah. I love that even in the year 2048, uh, or I guess 16 years after that, so 50, 2064, uh, we are still using the uh, floppy disk as an indicator of uh, save data. 
We need the data card now. It's a bit slow since the terminal is in such poor repair. Success. The data card contains several project document backups that don't seem to pertain to the task at hand. However, there is a personal file here called Matt Brad Plog 04. It reads, research could be going better. Everyone's under the gun. Ashley's pushing harder each day. We know the stakes, but she still flex still she flexes her muscles. I get the scene she has I get the sense she has more than just survival riding on this new line of experiments. She has pride, and they need to prove she was right. I don't really know to whom. The all has been getting a little close lately. Sometimes I feel at ease when we do relax together, but suddenly I'll feel as if I'm the experiment. He's sweet, but a little intense. He's an excellent geneticist, though, and we need him and we need him now more than ever. That's the end of the file. So he's kind of a creep. Hence the staring in the photo. Alright. So, looking for trees and shit. Here we go, let's find the... Find three samples of angiosperms and use the analyzer when you're done. So yeah, there was... Wheaties... Or corn, okay. Right, you are. These fading stalks of maize are a bit old, but they should prove provide the angiosperm we can use to use to a test of course what better angiosperm than a tree ripe with apples this scan will help us in our test looks like M Ms. Baradwaj was testing a few varieties thankfully some beans have survived this is indeed an angiosperm we can use to test okay that should be enough angiosperm samples Use the portable analyzer to process them. Oh, that's right. We ran into a, a weird green bean vine in the first dome of this section. Excellent. I've got the data from the angiosperms. That's the last piece of data we needed. I can run a full suite of tests here now. I hope we have better success than the agrodome's crew did. It might take me a few days to complete my simulations, but it's something. I'm fortunate that this facility was so greatly compromised. I can only hope we can make use of the work that went on here. Well, I imagine that garden must be a welcome change from the corridors of the colony. We must continue our work if we are to escape. So when you're ready, please head back to the shuttle and come back home. I feel like we were pretty thorough in every room, so I'm not going to worry about scanning for anything else. Alright. So we'll talk to the horticulturalist tonight. I mean, we kind of have to. But... I will run once again reassure you that I love the boom sound that the uh, shuttle makes. Well, you're back again. Come see me when you're ready to sync up, as usual. We got Let's sink. Okay, I've got everything to see from today. Have fun tonight. Go take a nap. Time, Nico. You know what to do. I'm sure you'll have fun. Let's see. Hello again, Nico. I'm just over here trying out a few new strains of vegetables. What happened with you today? The usual. I suppose you and I have very different definitions of usual. But you were at the research dome, weren't you? I, w I want to hear all about that. You know, that dome was my pride and joy, and my favorite place in the whole colony. I probably spent more time there than I should have, but I loved it so much. When those vines began to develop and ruin everything, the agrodome's labs were thoroughly corrupted. 
It took a while longer before this re the research dome became effective. Without the access without access to the main grow dome and its equipment, we were forced to use what we had on hand. But the vines hadn't reached the garden yet, so we had a bit more time. But you saw it for yourself. I'm curious. If anything, did you find anything that might help with your mission? Oh, oh my, that is interesting. I remember this photo. Now that I see it again, the way the was looking at Moscow. Well, they were let us see the photo, but they never do. The was such an excellent researcher. I think Hudson Cartier loved him for the position. He was so studious, so dedicated. They probably considered him pretty low maintenance. And you know, to be perfectly frank, I never even considered he could express such an interest, let alone in a co-worker. He just never let on. He was strictly about his work. But Masako was beautiful, and very smart. I guess she was the one that got through to him, woke him up, so to speak. I can't say I blame him for his affection. I suppose. Maybe it was unprofessional, but even Hudson Cartier understood that relationships were key to the survival of the colony. We weren't all drones, after all. Find anything else in that garden that might help us? Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. Despite our differences, I never wished Ashley any harm. As I mentioned last time, Ashley and I had our good had our disagreements, but she was a damn good scientist. At least at least before it all we all got desperate. And while Ashley was a valuable member of the team, she was also very ambitious. I don't think I was very I was very good at managing her or her ambitions. We seem to be dealing with the pressure of this whole situation well. How do you do it? I just have to. <laughs> I see. I guess that makes sense. You're all that's left. Just you and the AI. Find anything else in that garden that might help us? Plant research. Ah, I see. I can see the data you scanned now. So that's what we were up to in there. The biggest issue I remember was how difficult it was to get results fast enough. That was the main point of contention between Ashley and me. I was adamant that we needed proper protocols, since we were essentially getting one last good chance to do something. He thought that speed was more important. You see, by the time we went to the research, though, our connection to the AI was tenuous. The atmospheric interference, the lack of power, we could only check it occasionally. You know, the one thing about our team that I always noticed was that we were also very different. Different kinds of families, very different personalities. We were like a garden in our own way. Our own little ecosystem. I don't know, maybe I was the problem? I could never create that balance that we needed to succeed. You really think so? That's awfully sweet of you. It just makes, it just feels like I was the one who didn't make it all work, you know? But listen, I actually have been meaning to ask you something. When you finally escape and get back home, what are you going to do? Travel. You're quite the adventurer. I wonder what kind of shape Earth will be in when you get back. It's been 16 years. That's another thing I'm afraid of. It's probably a dumpster. Um, I think Hudson Cartier has rules about what happens to crews when they return. Psych evals, debriefing, that sort of thing. And who knows what's changed since we've been gone. Public opinion, government regulation, all of it could affect colonization attempts, among other things. With our situation as it is, I wonder how much data they even have on what's happened. Perhaps almost nothing. After 16 years, wow. It'll almost be like you're returning from the dead. I'm sure so much would be different. Well, in the meantime, if you end up at the agrodomes again, can you do me a little favor, since I will be able to myself? Can you let me know if you find out what happened to Matsuko and Dale? Now you've got me thinking all about them. Of course. Oh, well thank you, Nako. That would mean so much to me. I know it's a lot to ask, but, well, thank you. I think it's probably time for you to get some rest, and for me to take this new information, some of this new, inf new information, and get back to work on supplying your ship. It's, it's nice to know that this simulated garden isn't the only bright point I have. Your visits, they're really what keep me going. Until next time, Nako, please stay safe out there. No, I was saying I might do Winnie for all the uh, visits, but I feel like maybe I'll mix it up. <laughs> Although if it's only three weeks, I'm not gonna get to talk to everybody anyway, so maybe we'll stick with Winnie. I'll probably stick with Winnie. Winnie's the redhead from the comms tower. So the writer, that's why I wanted to follow up on her stuff. She's got that whole fiction story that kind of reflects all the things that were going on at the time.